Well, boys, we're back with another video. Hanging out in Blood Falls, spending some time with Frank. Uh, we had the server go down today, test server. I've been on for a little bit. Um, did a couple clearings, gated out, came back, and we've got a name to show up. Um, we are right here with Frank and Godfrey, kind of the zone in, as far as I know. There's a camp across the Blood River with uh, Lady Constance and Nicholas the Exiled. There are two placeholders. They stand right next to each other. It is an extremely easy camp. I've cleared it out repeatedly and dozens and dozens and dozens of times. Uh, this is the first spawn I have seen. No idea what it's going to, going to do, but the way you set this up, it's very, very easy for us. From this side of the river, target this placeholder, which is uh, the exile, Nicholas the exile. Yeah. And root punt it. As soon as you hit your root punt, click on the other placeholder. It will start to run, hit snare. Just back up to about here. As soon as it crosses the river and is on land, Hit effigy, send jobber, clear it out, wait two minutes, three minutes if you want, pull the other one across, clear it, you've, can't, you've broken the camp, it's clean, it's easy, you can do it over and over and over, it's, it's, it's safe, there are two concerns, um, there's obviously that blood bag that floats up and down the river, and this model, this demonic looking face sucker thing there's a roamer i think you might see him right there. oh okay well that's the placeholder that's the, the rigid the first name crew or that i killed that placeholder roams here i have not been paying attention to him I guess he spawned on the server reset i will avoid him i don't need to kill him i don't need any loot so there's nothing to do um, so what we will do is pull out Big Jobber, punt the Lost Vampire, haul butt over here, because you, know, you can't snare a boss, haul butt over to right about here, feign death, and then we will take on the boss. So I'm going to pull out Big Jobber. That's the first time I've seen anybody in this zone. I'm going to wait for the blood bag to move, and we will get this started. I think we are good. And there we go. We'll hit silent and robes. And we'll just get our dots on. What was that? We missed something. Resisted some of my disease. That's the strangest thing. I think I'll go ahead and preemptively click get echo on there. Okay, boys, I am, the one thing I cannot stand on Guild Hill buffs is flight of eagles. Get that thing off of there. All right, let's get the dots back going. And it looks like those landed that time. That's good. I'm doing just fine. Plenty of time still on wounds. is blinking so we will now start the big burn with prep 
and burn. And let's get these going. We have twin cast now, so we'll lay these on heavy. Looks like I have. I'll jump down the list. I got a gift. There we go. So start doing some damage now. Uh, looks like uh, Jobber just lost his pet power buff. He's starting to take a little bit of a beating there. So we'll keep an eye on him and hit a Gs if we need to. <clears throat> We've got five, well, now we have five twin casts left. Looks like we will burn one right now to see if we can get proc. Didn't get it, that's disappointing. Get ignite. Uh, we've got two left, so we'll do big pyre. Oh. Fizzle. Land, and I'll use one more. Didn't get it. Oh, that's okay. We're down to 25%. Um, wow, boys. Forgot to throw out my pets. And let's get some dots back on. We're getting close to needing blood magic, but not quite. Seventeen percent should be fine. Oh, there we go. There's a proc. We're done. Boys, not too bad. Um, obviously, I'll just hit Jobber with the GS. Jobber is, with pet power, more than capable of tanking these these named. So, nothing exciting there. We'll, looks like we'll come in with a decent, maybe one, two, five, maybe one, two on the total DPS. We've got new recording software. Um, so you won't have to watch the videos for ants that you had to watch last time. I'm happy about that. Switched over. Let's see what we got, boys. Um, that's going to be the loot. And that looks pretty impressive. Um, big numbers. Nobody else is here though, we're doing some mission or something. Interesting stuff, uh, nothing for me. Um, I'm all loaded up, nothing to worry about. The boys, uh, not a challenge for us. None of these names will be the challenge. And this zone is spawning them. The spawn rate is garbage. And also, um, and we'll talk about that when it actually occurs. These named are very tight. I'm not sure how to break the camps. Um, but we'll get there. Boys, that's the third name down in Blood Falls. Uh, nothing new. They're standard tier 2 named. Uh, the zone, like I said in the last video is a little tough the yellow con mobs here will definitely chew things up uh, we're going to continue to work on Nicholas the exiled uh, then we'll probably work on Coagulus and then those three the retainer um, plies in they and then sent sentient that was my first kill those three are usually lumped together and they are they're going to be a challenge, but we'll we'll talk about that more when we get there. Boys, I hope this video walked you through this camp. It's right near the zone in to the west. There are two placeholders. Split them with root punt. Pull them across the river. Burn them down. Wait a couple minutes so you've got a good split between the spawns. Personally, when I was um, working on some other... When I was working on Coagula, I would clear one vampire. 
I'd run over here, clear these, one of the placeholders that's a blood bag. Then I'd run back over and clear the other vampire. Uh, so I was clearing three out at a time. Um, that's it, boys. Hope this video helps you guys. I am slowly making my, my way through this. We are going to knock out all the Hunter achievements solo. It's just going to take some time. See you boys in the next video.